What's up all my brothers and sisters of the Kalo clan? My name is Kalo, aka Clonclux9999. Welcome back for more Plants vs. Zombies. So, uh, here's what I picked for my inventory of, uh, level 5-6. I also off-screen up all the rake, of course. I got flower pot, cabbage bowl, coral pole, uh, sunflower, tall nut, doom shroom, coffee bean, and potato mine. You know, it, the description for Potato Mine says that he it takes he takes up the first zombie that steps on him. So, are the zombies like stepping on top of the flower pots when he's on the flower pot or in rather? Since you know, <laughs> or you know, in the flower pot because you know he's inside. He's inside. the dirt. Now, if you look closely at the flower pots, I don't think I mentioned this yet, they actually do have little faces on them, so you can tell they are alive. Alright, now the new guy should be coming pretty soon. Oh, here he is. Meet the catapult zombie. He's not as tough as a uh, zo as zomboni, but what we'll do is he'll. He's basically like using our own weapon against us. Like he'll lob bat he'll lob basketballs at our sunflowers. Uh, yeah. I think after this level we will get a plant that's 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 useful against this guy. Uh, he's not the toughest, so yeah. I mean, getting hit with a basketball, that's gotta hurt. I mean, to be honest, I have gotten hit in the head by a basketball before. It is not that, it's not pleasant. 
Oh, here's another one. I'm just gonna use. Well, maybe I probably shouldn't. Maybe I should have gotten the jalapeno for this level because it would have been useful. Because he would have been useful. Hey, that's hey. This is where Colonel Bolt becomes useful. Excuse me. You don't see me sneezing too many times in my videos, do you? Except the time, except that time, except the time, uh, uh, in Clone City, but, yeah. If a uh, bungee or, or, or a catapult zombie happens to uh, uh, go on top of a plant, just like the zombo, and he will crush the plant. Right here we got, right here we got on the, uh, this guy. This guy's actually useful against the, the, uh, against the bungees and catapults. Uh, yeah, it protects near the umbrella leaf will protect plant, uh, plants from bungees and catapults. Uh, however, when I was, however, when I start. However, when I first started playing this game, I didn't really find the umbrella leaf to be that useful because I thought you were supposed to plant it on top of the plants, but I, but it, that's but but that's but apparently that's not the case. Um, you're actually supposed to plant it around the plants. You'll see later. All right. Alright, now the reason I'm planting these sunflowers in a little bit of an, in, a, in a different order is because, uh, uh, I'm actually going to plant the umbrella leaves here, or leaves, you know. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully a bungee zombie will come soon. Thank you. 
Alright, I'm also gonna play some uh, here. Oh my gosh, of course. Um, let me start recording, don't worry, I'll play. Oh my god, we got a cone head right here, and I have nothing. Oh man, he's probably gonna get pretty close. Oh, thank God, thank God for butter. Okay. Alright, that bro, we was done. Alright, now the wave's coming. Um, I want to show off the show off what the umbrella leaf actually does before we end the video. Oh my god. This is not good. This isn't the this isn't good guys. Oh my god, please kill him. I've been having a lot of trouble with this lane right here. I might want to just put the tall nut. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll show off the umbrella leaf next time. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. And as always, remember to smile. You are the face of Coldbox 999 Gaming.